We have come to Mark 13, chapter 13, in understanding what Jesus said. We have come now to prophecy again in this chapter. So it gives me an opportunity to talk about prophecy. Way back in the early 19th, 20th century, the 20th century, a fellow by the name of Schofield came out with his Schofield Study Bible or Reference Bible. It was the first Bible to be, shall we say, a study Bible. All kinds of comments and different things in it, uh, as well, of course, as the Bible itself, the verses of the Bible. And he followed a few other guys that had come in the latter part of the 19th century. He followed with them into the understanding of Daniel chapter 9 and the last week of that prophecy in Daniel 9 as the seven years to be at the end of this age uh, before Jesus returns visibly and gloriously. And as the decades went on in the 20th century, some of the fundamental prophets then started to add this secret rapture idea and theology. Now, they don't call it the secret rapture, but in the very nature of what it teaches, that Jesus can come any second visibly, invisibly, invisibly, and catch away his people and take them off to heaven. Some, most of those that teach this will say that it is before the great tribulation. But that be as it may, this kind of teaching developed then through the decades of the 20th century amongst the so-called fundamental Protestant preachers. And it is, they just simply call it the rapture. But when they explain it to you, it has to be a secret rapture. Nobody else in the world knows about it. In fact, even the saints don't know about it because they say it can come at any second. At any second, it could happen. And you will be raptured away. You will be caught up and you'll be off to heaven with Jesus Christ and the people on the world the unconverted or the ones not found worthy to be part of this will look around and they'll say, where the heck have all these people gone? They've disappeared. Their clothes are on the ground and they disappeared. So the fundamental prophets, many of them, added this rapture idea to this teaching. Then you came to 1948 and the state of Israel was formed as a nation. They, the fundamental teachers of Protestants, they really catch on to this 1948 as being something wonderful and great, fulfilling the prophecies of the Old Testament about Israel being restored, the Jews being restored to the Holy Land. Now, those prophecies that they give you, they're taking them completely out of context, completely out of context. If you read about those prophecies within their context, you will come to see very clearly that those prophecies are for the end time, for the time when Jesus Christ will return to this earth and the house of Israel and the house of Judah will be brought back together from where they have been scattered and they will be bought, brought back to the Holy Land. So those prophecies are completely taken out of context by the fundamental prophets who teach this kind of thing. And in the early 1980s, there was a movement amongst these fundamental prophets of Protestantism, there was a movement 
that came out with books, came out with articles, that Jesus was going to return by eight by 1988 because it was 40 years they were teaching back then for you younger people you don't know most of you that are younger you weren't even born then and so you don't even know that this teaching has been going on for decades upon decades and in the 1980s they were coming out and saying that a generation was 40 years you know they had the reasons why this generation was 40 years and they said by 1988 Jesus will return because it will be a generation of 40 years the state of Israel formed in 1948 40 years later for a generation 1988 and they were coming out and saying Jesus would return by 1988 a lot of you young people don't even know that I was around I saw it all happen and I said at the time and I said to the congregation that I was pastoring I said those it it is wrong 1948 and the forming of the state of Israel in the Holy Land has absolutely nothing to do with Bible prophecy 1948 has nothing to do with Bible prophecy because they have it wrong prophecy for the end times now you have a teaching that by some on YouTube and I won't mention their names but you can find them there they have a teaching that that it is 73 years now since 1948 and they have the teaching that 70 years is really the correct generation that is to be and that now we are 73 years since the forming of the state of Israel and that generation now is here 70 years and they'll quote from David you know being average years of life of 70 and if you're strong you'll live a little longer and they say well now 73 years has come and so as one man has said on YouTube the rapture the secret rapture could come this year it could come maybe next year maybe the year after but we're already 73 years and if we have given a little bit more strength we could say that we could maybe have 80 years as a generation and so Jesus will be here before another seven years comes because the seven years is going to be the great tribulation for seven years as it's taken misunderstood from Daniel chapter 9 and by the way let me mention that again if you want to know the truth about Daniel chapter 9 you go to Barnes Albert Barnes Bible commentary a Protestant fundamentalist you go to Albert Barnes Bible commentary and he will tell you correctly the understanding of Daniel chapter 9 but in any case now we've got 73 years and seven more years for this great tribulation supposedly then that will be 80 years you know or 70 and we'll live a bit longer because we're stronger so maybe 80 years and so from that they are teaching that Jesus could come in this secret rapture at any time now within this year or maybe next year but very very soon he will come in the rapture and rapture the saints away to heaven and the seven year tribulation will begin and we will then be at about 80 years since the state of Israel was founded nothing nothing my friends could be further from the truth 1948 has absolutely nothing to do with Bible prophecy and this idea now that Jesus is going to come any second because we're at 73 years and he's going to come at any second this year or maybe next year is absolutely bunk it is not going to happen 
mark my words well, it is not going to happen. Jesus is not going to all of a sudden, well, not all of a sudden, secretly come in the next year or two or three. Mark my words on it. And when two or three years have gone by, remember that I told you that this is a false teaching and it will not happen because they do not understand correctly Bible prophecy. Now let me give you some figures. In Leviticus chapter 26, I want you to note verses 18 and I want you to note verses 27 to 28. Jesus, uh, Jesus, yes, God of the Old Testament, yes, indeed. Jesus said to them, God said to them, to Israel, all 12 tribes, that if you would not obey him, eventually he would punish you seven times. Now, most people with any salt will tell you that a time, like in the book of Revelation, represents a year. Book of Revelation, a time, times, and half a time, 42 months, 1,260 days. A time is a year. 30 days to the month in God's calendar. You multiply seven times then, 360 times seven is 2,520. Turn it into years, 2,520 years. Israel, the house of Israel, after Solomon, the house of Israel started to go into captivity in 745 BC. Many people don't know that. That's taken out of some of the books that I have, some of the encyclopedias of the Bible. 745 is when the house of Israel started to go into captivity. Now you move forward a punishment of seven times, and it's going to bring you to 1775 plus one, because there is no year zero when going from BC to AD. It comes out to 1776. What happened in 1776, my friends? Yes, indeed, the United States became a country. The punishment on the house of Israel was taken away in 1776, and it could now flourish as they did. The United States and the British Commonwealth flourished after 1776. Judah went into captivity, in, or started to go into captivity, in 604 BC. Again, a punishment of seven times 2,520 years brings you out to 1916 plus one, going from BC to AD, there is no year zero. 1917, the prophecy came to an end that Judah would be punished. And what happened in 1917? You had indeed the Balfour Declaration. Look it up on the internet, read about it. You also had General Allaby going into Jerusalem in 1917. You look it up on the internet, Allenby. You had the end of the punishment of the house of Judah in 1917. They would then be able to start to come back to the Holy Land and establish themselves. And it did start to take place, especially after 1917. Now, those are some Bible years. 1948 has nothing to do with Bible prophecy. The people of the house of Israel that I've given to you on this, my videos, plainly telling you that the people of the house of Israel and the house of Judah are yet to go into captivity at the end time by the great beast power that is to arise. The great beast power of Europe that will arise and the house of Israel and the house of Judah will go into captivity. And then 
they will be delivered from that captivity and restored to the Holy Land when Jesus Christ returns. That is what Bible prophecy tells you. 